Tanze A. L. Horton, good Monday morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful four days off of school. I'm here at our First Nations Métis and Inuit um, bulletin board outside of the library and we're starting a new something new right now and it's called Have a Heart Day. Uh, I'm trying to move so you can see this and um, so it's ha it coincides with of course with Valentine's Day and uh, what Have a Heart Day is all about it's about thinking about First Nations, Métis and Inuit students and the fact that they don't have, they don't get actually as much money uh, to go to school as the students, regular students like you get for the, for the school gets for you to come here to the school. So for some reason the students on reserves or maybe way up north don't get as much money as you guys do and as many opportunities. So they really want us to engage and um, and advocate for them and say, hey, no, it's only fair that every Canadian student gets the same amount of money. So um, it's called Have a Heart Day. Please have a heart. First Nations children should not have to fight for services all other Canadians enjoy. Give First Nations children the same chance to grow up safely at home, get a good education, be healthy and proud of their culture. So the way that you can uh, help out with this is uh, your teacher has some different uh, resources. One of them is, is you can actually fill out one of these and stick it in the mail. It goes to government officials. Um, there is a note that you can sign and send to uh, other government officials. And then there's like fun stuff um, that Spirit Bear is part of Have a Heart Day. And there's some different recipes here. So chocolate chip cookies, Rice Krispie squares, some sugar cookies, different recipes. If your teacher wants to share that with you, they're more than welcome. But what I mainly want you to do is you're gonna each get a heart, kind of like this, and, um, and that's gonna be for our bulletin board. So you can uh, just put on that heart, say we love you, and we support you, any kind of a thing like that, and decorate it really nice, and then we're gonna staple it onto our um, onto our bulletin board here. So yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys can get that done early this in the week and then we'll get it up on our bulletin board and have it ready for Valentine's Day. So hi hi everybody, have a great week and uh, I look forward to talking to you again. Bye bye. Student staff and visitors to our school, today is February Tuesday, February 13th, and here are morning announcements. <laughs> Dobre den, bonjour everyone, and happy birthday to Brenna D in class 5B. Come on down and get your birthday item today. Today for recess, we have a sunflower recess, making sure that we have our no body contact rule in place. Mm -hmm. All right, be safe, have fun out there. Hopefully the sun is shining. Yep. It's a special week of events. Tomorrow Ooh. is wear red or pink day if you would like to, to celebrate Have a Heart Week. Thank you to Miss Morgana for Have a Heart. And of course, Valentine's. That, yeah, was, that was my heart. That was, that's hard to, anyway, there it is. I think I got it. I kind of got it too. <laughs> and then of course, Thursday, everybody, hopefully you've been compiling a bit of a costume, whatever you want to wear to recognize 100 days of school or Ooh. dress like your 100 day on Thursday. Love it. I have a positive ticket here for Colton. Um, um, in Mrs. Kozak's class. Colton, thank you for always making sure our classroom is neat, tidy, and organized at the end of each day. You are the best. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Hot dog day tomorrow, and is there a hot lunch day on there Friday? There is Boston Pizza. Boston Pizza for those of you who ordered in hot dogs are tomorrow. Um, and of course, it's Black History Month, so we'll try to feature a little bit more on that. And lots going on in the kind of short but busy month yeah. of February. So, all right, I do have a joke for you. Today. <gasps> Yes, Ooh. we're ready. Uh, what did the artist say to his girlfriend? What? I love you with all my art. Oh, nice. Say that with a bit of an accent. Yeah. All my art. <laughs> all my art. <laughs> all right, now we're going to head over for a book talk to the Library Learning Commons to Mrs. Shell and Justice. Over to you. Today, Justice will be doing a book review um, 
from one of the new books from the library. If you would like to give a re book review, you can just come and see me in the library and you can sign up to do one. Okay, Justice, take it away. Anne Marie by B.B. Allison. When I first started reading this book, I found it was boring. It didn't catch my attention until about chapter two. The main character, Amory, has two brothers. One brother, Quentin, has been said to be missing. His disappearance has been a mystery. Amory has been a mis Amory has continued to believe her brother is alive. One evening, walking down the hall to her room, she hears a ticking noise from Quentin's room. Entering his messy bedroom, she followed the sound to his closet. There... There she found a suitcase. When she opened it, she found... Dun, da, da, da. If you want to find out what was in the suitcase, you can check out Amory in Fiction ALS. Magic and Mystery, wait, mystery Await You. Great job, Justice. If you would like to put a hold on this particular book that Justice has done a review on, I now have hold slips, so you can come and get one, and one piece of tape will put your name on top, and then I will make sure that you get this book the next time you come in. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Have a great day.